was gonna, we were talking earlier. You deserve some some congratulations. You did uh, knock off um, or Putin knocked off one of your uh, death list uh, guys. What, what do we call it? The uh, we call it the death pool. pool. Death pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Well, we didn't probably the after the Clint Eastwood movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I call this color blue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We call I wonder it. We came up with guessing when people will die. <laughs> Everybody does that. I think it's a Clint Eastwood movie called Dead the Deadpool. I think that was the deal. Um, you gl- you guessed Alexi. What's his last name? Navalny. 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 Golf clap for Navalny. Woody. Navalny. That's a nice victory for him. Kyle yeah. was close with Doc. Wait, who who did you get? You got well, someone I, who did die. I knocked off. Uh, no, 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 I did. I, well, I oh, look. I was the first one on this death pool, obviously, to get one right because the rapper died. The um, what's his name? The one that DMX. Ah, uh, so it's not uh. so much you guys won the death pool. I lost. You are <laughs> losing currently. You are losing currently. Man, I thought yes. Lil Wayne was going to be a good pick, and I still it can't. I, Wikipedia doesn't know if Jorge Garcia is alive, and so I could have no. won. Also, that's fair. I liked the rules. I think everyone had to be below something fifty, 50. or sixty. Yeah, was it fifty? Fifty is like hard mode, which we should do. Like, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Because I, I I hate like some guy has inside knowledge that this person just got into a skiing accident and was on death's yeah. door, and that's fair. Or otherwise, that's, people would have been hard. like. We would have been like, oh, I picked the queen. And it's like, oh, well, that's bullshit. You can't pick a woman in her late 90s. Oh, Betty White. No, I like, like his- the uh, the under 50 rule. It uh, it makes it interesting. They're not going to die of natural causes. Usually they're going to fuck themselves up. And that's why it's interesting to pick people who are more likely to fuck themselves up. Hence all the drug users, st- thrill seekers and people who athletes poke bears. Yeah. And people who poke political uh, alienators as well. Mm-hmm. You know, well, over because- in Russia, I hear every day. Um, you know, another magnate or oligarch or the head of this or that or the other fell off a building, drank the wrong cup of poison. Ah, I meant my cop wanted my coffee, but I grabbed my poison yeah, cup. Really? <laughs> a lot of people fall out of windows and stuff. I think OSHA is to blame, not Putin. They don't yeah. have the regulations there. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. That, That's their the handrails thing. must not be very safe. Hand holding them. Yeah. That would be a funny like political ad. Like like, like Russia just doesn't have the standards. Left and right, politicians are falling out of buildings, off rooftops, down canyons, into rivers. Is there like a, a list? <laughs> a list of actually all locking the- themselves on their balcony and freezing to death in the middle of summer. <laughs> <laughs> like all sorts of weird ways people die. It's like that one guy who like himself and shot himself twice. <laughs> it's like, oh, I don't know about this one, guys. Did that yeah, really happen? Shot- yeah. I think it did. Yeah. yeah. Was yeah. it a was that a politics thing? I think there was a conspiracy afoot. Uh, he mm. was a witness or a someone who was a whistleblower of some kind, if I remember correctly. Like they, there was reason to take him out, and then they, then they found him hung and shot twice. The shooting twice thing, from what I understand, isn't crazy uncommon. Sometimes people wound themselves and are still there enough to pull the trigger again. Mm. Um, but the hanging thing, I don't know. The whole thing seems weird to me. Are we talking um, about Epstein or something else? Oh something else the guy who hung himself and shot himself twice oh, that, that okay. was just like there's just too much going on you know what i mean i don't think he was at <laughs> home either i think he was like in a uh, out on out on the side of the road somewhere it's like i think somebody did this to you brother uh, there's a whole article suspicious deaths of russian business people 2022 to 2024 so mm-hmm. there must be a lot more well they just had a uh free and clear election over there i saw putin got roughly 90 percent of the total vote the other three uh competitors roundly got about three three and a quarter percent each something yeah, like he's that a big winner it's yeah. my understanding excuse me that if the elections were free and fair putin would still win mm. like, i think so I, well, I guess so see i i'm not I, very clued I, i'm in not disagreeing with that idea but mm. i would i would be curious about how that data is procured yeah. you know what i mean yeah, if, like, yeah. imagine a guy coming to you and say tell me comrade if you were allowed to vote how you how you wish who would you vote for then <laughs> Vladimir Putin. I thought so. I knew. Good guy. I saw you, Igor. I think good guy, Igor. Good guy, Igor. No freedom for him. Do not need. Well, like, he's the only like that's what's going down. Speak. So who knows? Maybe there's a lot of just no charisma hacks going up against him. 
He's like, oh, like, your media are like, uh, like Mort like... from Family Guy. It's like, oh, I just want to be the president of Russia. And they're like, oh, this guy sucks. Well, I think this that article of that... the dead Russian business people, some of them is like, oh, this guy's 42. He fell 12 stories out of his apartment window. And it's like, interesting. And then they'll throw one in here. Grigory Klinshov, age 92, found mm. dead in his apartment. I think I've cracked the case <laughs> <laughs> on this one. 92, like that's a victory lap age. Like, no, yeah. you, you You're can't clearly be, right. You can't be dead in your 90s and like make a conspiracy around it. That's insane. Unless, like, imagine if three 90 year old guys kick it the same day and they're all working for the same petrochemical place or something, though. I don't know. Putin seems so murderous. And what's interesting to me is that he has the, the squad to do it because I know that we don't. And here's how I know we don't have that like presidential kill squad because Donald Trump didn't kill a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't see a Rosie O'Donnell didn't get like taken out by the argument I'm <laughs> hearing is our kill squad's great. If yeah. Rosie O'Donnell had been hit by an AC-130 one night, I'd have been like, oh, shit, he's got the trigger. He knows how to use it. But well, the Clintons instead... hired all the good ones, and now Trump's on fucking Fiverr. You should have <laughs> never put the murder Rosie O'Donnell button next to the Coca-Cola button on his desk. That was a terrible <laughs> user interface. I will take care of this for $25 for you. <laughs> Some it's Indian guy. Button. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think that we have that. I don't think that there's... I, I believe that as a kid. I remember as a kid maybe watching like X-Files or something and being like, why doesn't the president just like go to that guy in the suit and be like, go kill this dude for me. He's talking shit. Because he'd have to do it, right? But I think he'd go report you right away. <laughs> I think he'd go to like somebody and be like, the president just asked me to com commit a murder. Um, I just wanted to know, uh, could do we? am I supposed to do those or do we... Do we rest Dude, are now? you kidding? If the president asks you to commit a murder on his behalf, you think going to someone else and spilling the beat, they're going to go tell the president. The president just, a you think you're the first guy that got asked? No, I mean, he's done this before. You're well, going to wake clearly, up. If I'm the second guy, then the first, what happened to the first guy? I need to know. He clearly said no, too. Or he Maybe died it's on the test. Mission. Maybe it's, what if it's a test, though? What if the president wants to see if you're like, his is num gonna be his number one guy. Yeah, and, and, his top but, guy. <laughs> but but he values that that you know like like decent people, and he wouldn't want someone who who would kill someone on his orders. And he's waiting for you to say no, sir. That I won't do. And that's then he's a terrible you on test. The back. Yeah, that's an that's awful. like that test where at the top it says don't fill out any of the bubbles. Sign and turn in now. <laughs> <laughs> Every single exam I got in college, I must have flipped to the end. Because like something memed that into my head that that would be something yeah. that would happen at some point where they'd be like, you're in some logic, you know, 101 course. And it's like a bunch of specific questions. And at the end, it's like, you lose a point for every question answered because you didn't read my ethereal retarded mind when I gave <laughs> the test. And it no, it turns out that they wanted me to fill out all the tests. Yeah, I've never seen one of those. Shock of all shocks. <laughs> when I walked up there proudly and slapped that food science test down almost entirely blank, he gave me an F. <laughs> he called my food science. Yeah, that was that class that was just a, a. It was supposed to be a joke. It was like my first class freshman year of college. Me and all my friends in the dorm were bad influences on one another. And in it. fairness, the teacher wore a bolo tie every day and was a fucking goofball. He was funny. But he was a good like and he like, like I'd be oh, that'd be ahead. sick being a billionaire. I'd start my own hockey league. I'd, I'd like I'd make sure that I got the Vladimir Putin treatment or like, <laughs> like Ovechkin's on the ice with me. And it's like, oh, man, Ovechkin's really up. struggling on defense tonight. <laughs> 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 Look at that. Like, like, dude, the clips of Putin playing ice hockey were the most absurd propaganda I've ever seen out of Russia. The most bad. Like, if you haven't seen really it, because he rode the horse shirt. Look it up. No, that's anyone can ride a horse shirtless. I believe he was shirtless on that horse, and you, you can put me on a horse shirtless and ride it Let around. Let me pop this off. But <laughs> if you've watched, if you have any familiarity with the game of hockey at all, and you see the way that he stick handles like back and forth, it is learn to play. Like there are eleven now year I'm olds here. Fuck you too, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> no, you you would have beat him. I, you would, dude. A I simple poke check. I used to be able to play. And hockey little, granted, yeah. I'm thinking he's like 70 at the time. <laughs> but even so, like, it was. It was. If you've ever seen like kids play at the All Star game in the NHL, where like Brent Burns will like bring his son or something, yeah. and then like they'll be like, "All right, little Timmy Burns, 
go take a breakaway on Carey Price, one of the best goalies of all time. And it's like, oh, Carey Price like dives out of the way, lets the goal <laughs> in. Like that's, you could see the panic in the eyes of the Russian goalie who's like, oh. I don't, I'm going to have to anticipate where he will shoot. And it is unironically harder than with NHL player because there's no <laughs> predicting this. And like, you just, <laughs> just can, like, scoot back and out of the way, like not even a dive. You don't want to accidentally make that save, man.